My name's Zach. We're gonna do five reasons why you should wanna live in San Diego. So the number five thing that I like about living in San Diego is actually kind of weird. Okay. It's actually the lack of a good sports team. You like that there's a lack of a sports team? Yes. Why? San Diego is up there with, well, it used to be with Cleveland. For sure. As probably the worst town for sports. We've had the late Chargers. We've had the Padres. Mm -hmm. We've had the Clippers. We've had the Goals. Mm -hmm. We have the Soccers. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, we've never really had a great sports team. Yeah. And I actually like that. I don't want a team that's dominating like the Patriots and the Lakers because you get fair weather fans, mm -hmm. right? Living in San Diego, you really have to love these teams. That's true. There's nothing to like about them. No. Except for the players, right? We love our teams because we love the players. From Junior Seau to Tony Gwynn, it wasn't because we won championships. It's because we actually cared about our athletes. That's true. But, but wasn't it nice in 1994 when we did go to the Super Bowl? And even though people were jumping on the bandwagon, it was like fun though to have everybody like rooting for something. That is true. But when I go around the country and I see Cowboys fans that have no tie to Dallas, true. when I see Patriots fans that have never been to the East Coast of the country, I always ask myself, why don't we see Padres fans in the middle of nowhere? You have to be a San Diego. <laughs> you have to love these teams it's because so true. typically they don't win. Yeah. But we love our sports team. We do. Win or lose. Yes, we do. So I actually like the fact that we yeah. don't have a great dominating yeah. team because you know who is a true San Diegan. If you see an SD hat, if you see a Bolt hat long ago, yeah. you knew that they were somehow tied to our great city. That is they true. Are Bandwagon. I see what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying. We are consistently told that San Diego is full of a bunch of fair weather fans, but that's not true. I don't think so. We just have a lot of people that are from other places yes. here. Yes. And so they, they have no need to join uh, and start rooting for the Padres because who cares? Because they've got the, the Cubs or they've got the, uh, the Yankees. Yeah. That's their team. Yeah. I they think just live here. And I think that's a cool part about our city. That's is true. that we don't have these people that just say, oh, I love the Chargers or I love the Padres. You really love these teams because they represent your city. That is a yeah. very and we interesting love point. I, I like that. I like that. All right, so my f number five reason for living in San Diego, I, I it's got to be the beaches. I love the beaches of San Diego. I mean, from Mission Beach to PB to La Jolla to Coronado, Silver Strand IB, Oceanside, Torrey Pines. Like we've got so many different beaches and every beach is a little different from the next one. Like if you wanna go party, Mission Beach or PB. If you wanna just go see a beautiful beach, Coronado. If you wanna be by yourself basically, Silver Strand. People aren't there. You know, I love the beaches and I love, even though it's just one ocean, it's just, each beach community has its own flavor, its own flair, and it's and it's really fun to explore. I surprisingly didn't have beaches on my top five. And if you have never been to San Diego, that probably is one of the main reasons why you're coming to San Diego. But living as a local here for almost 37 years, I didn't have beaches on my top five. And the reason why is the water's cold. <laughs> That's true. If you've never swam in San Diego beaches, it is very cold. Yeah. I've been to beaches in the Caribbean, I've been to beaches in Hawaii, uh, Asia, and the water is warm. Yeah. So coming back home to San Diego, the sand is different, there's shells and seaweed everywhere, and it is very cold. It's Lately, it's been a little bit warmer, but compared to other yeah. beach places, it's still pretty cold, yeah. but it's beautiful to hang out. Yeah. The neighborhoods, the people that live there, very eclectic communities. Mm -hmm. It's it's one of those things where if you don't need to go in the water, you probably aren't going in the water yeah. because like you said, the water's cold and that's from, the, the water's from Alaska. It gets really cold up there and then gets pushed down here. Yeah. And then also there's a lot of silt. And so the water doesn't look beautiful like it does in other no, places. It's not clear. No, it's not. Yeah. But I still really just, I love going to the beach and I love watching the sunsets there and, oh. My number four reason for loving to live in San Diego has to be the food and our brewery scene. 
Okay. So San Diego has a great batch of beer companies mm -hmm. and also the food as well. I'm not going to say the food is the best in the world, but we have a good mix of everything. So if you want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you can find it pretty much in San Diego. If you want good barbecue, we have that. If you want good Vietnamese, Chinese, Asian food, just drive down Convoy. You can spend literally a month there yeah. eating at every restaurant on Convoy and get your fill of Asian fare. Yeah. And all of it is actually very delicious. Mm -hmm. If you want good Mexican food, which is a hint of the rest of my list, you can find that definitely here in San Diego. I've been to other parts of the world and coming back home, that's one thing I do appreciate about our city. We have a great mix of really good food. Yeah. You know, if you want to find something, you could probably find a good version of it in San Diego. Other places I've been to, I can't find a good this or a good that. But in San Diego, the culinary, the food scene is not the highest per se compared to LA, New York, but we have a good balance of really good eateries and of course yeah. our world famous breweries. Yeah, uh, to piggyback on what you're saying, it is really interesting that you can go to any part of the city and there's gonna be like that niche food that everybody likes. Like if you really wanna go get something from the Arabic region, sure. You go to East County, go Oklahoma, to El Cajon. Oklahoma. They've got the best Arabic food I've ever had in my life. Baklava, beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. But if you want to get some Mexican food, head a little bit closer towards Barrio Logan. Los Cuatro oh, Smopas. So good. You know, and if yeah. you want to get that Italian food, we do have a little Italy area. We even have an Ethiopian scene, sure. you know, uh, over on University Avenue. There literally is, and you know, I never thought about that. We've got a little bit of all the different types of food. Whereas you go to other places and what they really pride themselves on is hey we've got that really great fast food chain while we have the fast food chains we also have those more mom and pop style eateries or... for me number four is definitely the weather i went basic on this one too because in san diego there is a weather change people think there's no weather change there is a weather change it's just not that major you could wake up and it's like 60 degrees and by the afternoon it'll be like 95 and in the winter it's like from 40 to 70. It doesn't snow here, it hardly ever rains, but when it does rain, it feels good. But it doesn't rain so much that it's annoying. And it doesn't get so hot here for too long that it's also like, I just can't stand it anymore. I gotta get out of here. You know, we've got our hot days, we've got our cold days, but it's, it's just nice. I agree with that number four. So leading into my number three, it's about the same thing. Because of the great weather, because of the 70 and sunny every day, San Diego is very outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. Our schools, our malls, everything is built for the outdoors. Yeah. And I appreciate that. There's so much to do besides Gas Lamp. If you wanna go dancing, clubbing, please head down to Gas Lamp. Heck but yeah. Gas Lamp is not just all of San Diego. No. There's so much more to San Diego. We Our county is huge and the outdoors, and I don't mean just nature, mm -hmm. everything is outdoor. Our schools, our malls, everything, our concert venues, everything is outdoors. Because of this beautiful weather, we don't need to have indoor malls, indoor venues. Everything is literally in the outdoors. Yeah. And open air at nighttime on a, on a free weekend, you just can't beat it. But just the open air feeling of walking through Fashion Valley, of walking through UTC. If you haven't been to UTC in a while, please go check it out. It is amazing. But none of our malls are enclosed. All of our malls are open air. Yeah. And so my third reason is I, the, that I love to live in San Diego is because we're really outdoorsy. It's like even if you go to the mall, there's a park in the mall. Exactly. Yeah. There's a water park Yeah. in the mall. So for me, again, almost piggybacking on even what you said, my number three is the attractions. There are so many things to do. It's ridiculous. SeaWorld, the San Diego Zoo, Safari Park, Balboa Park, Legoland, uh, Belmont Park, the Midway. There's so many things to do. And we're only an hour and a half away from Disneyland. Even though that's Orange County, you're close enough to Disneyland to be able to go there and back in a day, but you're far enough away to where you're not really in the LA scene. And that's pretty darn nice. Yeah. We have Birch Aquarium. Mm -hmm. If you want to go gamble the evening away, we have local Indian casinos. There's tons of entertainment options in San Diego. So many things I, to I, do. I, it's it's I, crazy. I do appreciate that as yeah. well. Yeah, and Vegas is only five and a half hours away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So getting down to the top two. Top if two. I ever had to leave San Diego, I think the thing I might miss the most is the Mexican food. Oh. Right? Living so close to Mexico and I've had Tex-Mex, I've had Mexican food all around the world, mm -hmm. but San Diego taco shops. Yeah, that uh, that's what I was gonna mention. If you come to San Diego, if you stay below south of Interstate 94, mm -hmm. right? That one cuts right through to downtown but it does separate the Mexican taco shop. Yeah. If you stick to south of the 94, if you see a yellow and red taco shop, promise you it's good. Yeah. There's just something different about San Diego taco shops. Yeah. A carne asada burrito. Yeah. Carne asada fries. Mm -hmm. California oh. burrito. Roll tacos. And once again, I've traveled the world. I've had Mexican food or some iteration of it. Yeah but there's nothing like San Diego taco shop. Yeah. From Roberto to Lucha Libre, which technically is north of the 94, it's a little bit around the eight. Yeah. But again, their surf and turf is just amazing. Mm -hmm. So if I ever had to leave San Diego, I would always dream and remember and come back just for to visit my just friends. Yeah. But also the first thing I would do not quite in and out. Not no, quite in and out. No, no. And now it's good. Don't get me wrong. But San Diego taco shops, I promise you, is just something amazing. Yeah. You know, on a Friday evening after work when I'm tired, what am I craving? Carne and burrito and a michelada. Mm -hmm. And I'm Asian, right? <laughs> but living in San Diego, that's like my number one go-to. Yeah. It is so delicious. And you can find them everywhere, you know? Oh, yeah. You can go to the local mom and pop shop ones or you can go to the bigger ones like Lolita's. Yeah. You know, they started off small. Yeah, they did. But they are just so good. Never fail. Yeah. I can I haven't found a taco shop that wasn't good. Yeah. You know, per se. There are some great ones, but all of them hit the spot. Oh yeah. San Diego taco shops, number two can't miss when you're in San Diego. For sure, yeah. for sure. And you know, in all honesty, I don't even call it Mexican food anymore because I've been to Mexico and I've had Mexican food right. several times in Mexico. It's different. It's not worse. It's just, it's yeah. different. Yeah. Ta Tex-Mex is just different. LA Taco Shop is different. They're, they've got their great ones, but San Diego Taco Shop, oh, yeah. so good. And Old Town is not San Diego Taco Shop. I am sorry. Yeah. They've got some great restaurants, but that's not Taco Shop. And for real, if you even were to look it up, there are different taco shops that are known for different specific items on their menu. This place is really good at beans. This place is really good at the burrito. This place is really good at the uh, enchilada. There, there are people that swear by like, if I'm craving a, a chimichanga, I'm going to this place specifically. One tip, if you can find it in the Spring Valley area, there's a place called The Barrel. Oh, it so good. It looks literally like it's a, barrel. a giant barrel, yeah. yellow and red. I'm telling you, if you see a yellow and red taco shop in San Diego, I promise you it's amazing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. But if you can find the barrel, that's some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. There's actually one on... Uh, I don't know the name of it. I, we, I just call no, it it's the called the barrel. Is it really yeah. called the barrel? And there used to be one on Imperial Avenue and there used to be one in El Cajon too. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? Because I love Mexican food too. We are going to leave a list of our favorite Mexican food places in the uh, description below. So that way you can go see kind of what we were thinking as we said what we were talking we about. We should do a food review. We totally we should, should do a food review. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. So my uh, number two reason is there's so many people that are so rad here. I love the fact that there's people from all over the world, there's different ethnicities, there's different cultures. We're all kind of like together. We're all melting together in San Diego. I've got my friends who know a little bit about this culture, the, my friends that know a little bit about this culture, and we've kind of gotten to the point where we create this new San Diego thing. It's really neat. You kind of stole my thunder. Oh, because darn it. My number one, again, <laughs> has to be the people of San Diego. You know, once again, I've traveled the world, but San Diego has this very unique mix. You know, I grew up in San Diego, went to UCSD, but there's something about the mix of our city. I don't know if it's the location, I don't know if it's just our history, but San Diego, and you know, watching the news and seeing all these tolerance ideas now, I, it's not new to us, you know, mm -hmm. these subcultures and these different mixes of people. I, 
I didn't find that abnormal. Living yeah. in San Diego, we've had that forever. It's not yeah. new. And in San Diego, if you look at the makeup of our people, it's one, very mixed. So don't believe what you hear in the media. But are there conservative right-wing people? Sure, mm -hmm. sure. I can show you where they live. Yeah. But are there, you know, more left-wing type people? Absolutely. And somehow, some way, we live amongst each other, no problem. Yeah. You know, I I'm being honest. Totally. You know, there's not one area where we just clash against each other. No. I can go here, you can go there. We are friends, we don't look alike, we grew up in different parts of the town, but that's what I've experienced in my time in San Diego. Yeah. And when I travel to other places, I don't always see that. You know, there, it's, it's sometimes a difference, but that difference isn't, I don't feel as large here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in a kind of a weird way, we actually, it sounds cliche, we actually like embrace it. We embrace oh, yeah. the difference because that's truly what makes, I feel, San Diego, San Diego. Yeah. You know, just an example, one of my favorite pho places, I'm Vietnamese, is a place off of Uncle Home Boulevard, Pho Wai. It's in City Heights where I grew up. But on any given day, the makeup of that place is representative of our city. It's not just all Vietnamese people. Yeah. You know, when I go to Orange County, when I go to San Jose, most Vietnamese establishments only have Vietnamese customers. But this restaurant, on any given day, you will see people of all races enjoying my culture and our food. And, yeah. I, and I sit back and I go, I wouldn't really see that in any other place. Yeah. Like this true to heart Vietnamese establishment built in the 70s that's, that is welcoming of all these people. It's not a fusion place, you know, the, the servers are mean, the parking is horrendous. But still, people of all races come here. Yeah. And when I eat my food and look around, I said, this is kind of why I love San Diego. And and I will really miss that if I truly left San Diego. Don't leave. The, the people. Just don't leave. You're okay. good. So that is your number one as well? That was my number one. The okay. People love San Diego. All right. Well, I love that. I've also lived in San Diego my whole life. One of my favorite things about San Diego, and it's it's not quite what it was several years ago in terms of this, but we are a gigantic city. We're a big city, but we have a small city feel. We've got a little bit of traffic here and there. You know, traffic can be bad for about an hour at this time or this time, but for the most part, the freeways are open. Sure. And you know, you can get from one side of the city to the other in what, a half hour? But we've got three million people living in this community. And I'm talking about more than just San Diego City itself. I'm talking about the, the regional area. But I mean, you can go from downtown all the way to El Cajon, to Oceanside, to San Ysidro, but you don't feel like you're so enclosed with so many people that you can't get anywhere. And I love that because I've been in those cities that are just as big, but they've got so many people packed into such a small space, you can't move. Yeah. And so you're just kind of like stuck in those like three little blocks. That in all honesty, we really don't have a mass transit system no. because the city is so spread out. We have our buses, we have our trolley system, but it's not as connected as most major cities mm -hmm. because the, the sheer size of San Diego County that, like again, it would be crazy to build, plus we don't need it. Yeah. You know, in, in all honesty, there's not that true congestion of a metropolitan area yeah. like compared to most places around the world. You are pretty much free to go wherever you want if you have a car. You know, yeah. cars are important in San yeah. Diego to get around. But but again, I agree. You don't feel packed. Yeah, you don't feel like it's like it's impossible sure. to get to another part if of the town. If you want to find a secluded place, it's easy. It's yeah. not that difficult. Yeah. yeah, very very true. All right, so with that, uh, those are our top five. What'd you think? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Was there something that we missed? Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of this. Thanks for watching and. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye.